What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ani. If you are new here, hello. Please do not be shy and hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 200 subscribers and I'm very excited. If you couldn't already tell, I am clean faced and just came out of the shower because I actually filmed this video with my amazing friend Kristen yesterday. But it turns out that the audio is off and there's a really annoying high pitched squeaking sound that was happening the whole time. Which is super upsetting because we were in the studio and it was a lot of fun. But anyway, I have to upload this. It is Wednesday and I am super busy because it is midterms week and I'm going home tomorrow. So lots of things are happening. But of course, you guys are my main priority. Which should be schoolwork, but it's fine. I have a class in like a half hour. Um, so anyway, if you couldn't already tell by the title, I will be doing my college advice specific to Ithaca College, since obviously I go there. I'm a freshman. And really quickly before I begin, I want to remind you guys about my Fermu glasses that I have. I did a video about them a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love them. I still wear them, and I have a coupon code for you guys still that you guys can use and get glasses for a much cheaper price. It's like ridiculous. A few people have already bought them, and they love them, so... You guys should go check them out. They have sunglasses, regular glasses. You don't have to have a prescription. They also do have prescription glasses. So they're a really awesome brand and I absolutely love them. So I'll have the link down below. And moving swiftly on into the video. The first question I got is from, where am I going? I am Lauren Struong. Struong, I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. But you have a few questions. The first one being, what's the LGBTQ scene like at Ithaca? It's a very diverse campus and everyone really feels free to be themselves here, which is really awesome. So it is very big community here. Do park students tend to hang out in that specific group? So I'm just gonna generalize this to like, do you basically have friend groups of just people that you are majoring with kind of, or in the same, school as you, which the answer to that is no. My friend Kristen that I did a video with yesterday was not a park student and obviously we are still friends. I have tons of friends who are not park students that you, I hang out with all the time. Um, honestly, it's kind of like what you make of it. Obviously your first friends are probably going to be on your floor, your roommate, stuff like that. But um, if you do tend to hang out with more either park students, for example, just because I'm in the park school, it's just because you're with them a lot, especially park students specifically because you are doing so many group projects. And if you get involved with clubs, you're usually there a ton. But it's definitely not like you have to be with like park students, you have to be with like science people. It's not like that at all here. I just hit my face. Um, can you talk about the internships for students in park or the four year experience? Um, they make the four-year process super easy here at Ithaca, which is amazing. Um, you have your schedule all put out for you on a website online that you guys will figure out once you get here. And it's pretty simple. They tell you each class that you need to take in order to graduate. And um, yeah, they're really helpful in that way. And the internship experience-wise, I obviously am a freshman, so I haven't had an internship with Ithaca College yet, like through Ithaca College yet, but I have. Excuse me. I have gone to the Career Center a few times and they are so helpful. They help you do your resume, all this stuff. And I know that um, Ithaca is really good at connecting with their alumni and having students connect with them like literally since freshman first semester. Um, I know that at Park we already Skyped Bob Iger who's the head of Disney. He's obviously our alumni. David Muir as well and just really high ranking people in the business that you're going into. So it's really helpful here among like connection wise and things like that um, and then the hookup scene um, so I'm just gonna generalize this I guess to the party scene so the party scene here it's a very very big bar school they do have some parties here at the sports houses but they do get busted pretty early I'm not gonna lie and um, I mean Cornell's like down the street so you can always go there if you really want like a big party scene but besides that bar school um, what is the ideal person that'll fit into Ithaca pretty well? I wouldn't say that Ithaca has like an ideal person just because um, we really do have a lot of diverse people here which is amazing and um, yeah I really don't think there's like one specific person who would fit here. Um, actually going on with that, the only thing I would have to say is that it is clearly not a city school. If you have visited you will realize that. If not, it is not a city school. There's not a lot of hustle and bustle. Um, there's a mall about like 15 minutes away, which is really fun. I go 
with my friends. Literally every weekend we see a movie. Again, it's not a huge mall. Lots of food places though. The food's amazing here. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. Do you need a car for a place like Ithaca? I personally think that a car is very necessary at Ithaca. Um, I find myself Ubering a ton and um, I don't like Ubering by myself just because of like safety reasons but um, so that's why I think a car is easier just because if I need to go to like Target or a store really quickly like it's not in walking distance at all. Um, like you definitely could live without one but if you have the opportunity to bring one definitely bring one. Adriana Anzalino asked the shower situations. If there's like an audience, am I rushed? I definitely don't feel rushed. I've never had a problem with getting a shower ever. Um, I live in the upper quads in my dorm like floor. There are three showers for the whole floor to share. And honestly, I've never had a problem. Like people don't usually walk in if they like, you can hear when someone's getting out of the shower and you don't really walk in because that's just weird, honestly. But um, towers is a completely different story. They're showers are so much nicer you have your own little shower so you can do your own thing no buddies there so it's towers is pretty nice compared to the quads bathroom wise um so that situation but yeah the showers aren't like terrible i wouldn't like they're really not that bad was it hard to find your rooms for classes and are you able to find them during the summer orientation no i do not think it's hard to find your building or where your classes are at ithka um, you don't really find them at orientation because you do plan out your classes the last day before you leave at orientation. I mean, it's totally up to you and your parents, whoever's with you, um, or whoever came with you to go around and look for them after you register. But usually, I know that I did it with my friend, like, the day before classes started in August, because you do have a few days of when you're on campus and you're just settling in without classes starting yet. So, um, you can kind of just do that when you come and like with your roommate or something as a little bonding experience. That'll Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my college advice video specific to Ithaca College. If you have any more questions college wise, either tweet me, Instagram me, comment, you know, whatever that is, or comment down below and I would happily make another video or respond to you right away. And I will see you guys, oh, actually I won't. I want to let you guys know that I will not be posting for a little bit because obviously it's going to be spring break and unfortunately where I'm going I will not be able to have my computer with me because it's having some issues so it will be at the Apple store hopefully being fixed. But um, if you guys want to stay tuned with my life follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I will have it down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!